Welcome back to another video. My name is Abby and I'm popping in for another video. And today's video is gonna be about how to get somebody to think about you nonstop, the truth. Before we get into the video, I wanna let you know that I'm still offering my donation-based payment system where you can work with me one-on-one. -on -one. We can specifically dive into your story, into your experience and start understanding and get deeper on why it is that things are happening. What, why are you manifesting what you're manifesting? More importantly, how can you change it? What do you need to do so you can start getting a reflection of that, of what you're worth and what you desire? So if you're interested in that, go ahead and hit that link below. And other than that, let's get back to the video. So obviously brought in the friend of the whiteboard. Now I need to give a disclaimer. If you're watching this, this is great. However, I think that it is a like public service announcement. Maybe that's what you call it, that I'm pretty confident that I'll piss off people with this. And the reason I'm making this video is not to piss people off or tell them anybody that they're wrong or that they don't deserve what you want. You do deserve what you want. I am making this video from a place of love and in hopes that you will avoid mistakes that I made for years and that got me into some really dark places and a lot of pain. And doing this and understanding this dynamic actually helped get me the thing that I wanted. So with that said, when if you start getting triggered or you really start thinking negative thoughts of me, that's okay. I encourage you to keep watching. Um, so yeah, that is my public service announcement. Boom, let's get started. Okay, so here you are. Um, this is you and this is the other person. This is the person that you're wanting to get, you want them to think about you nonstop, right? You want them to maybe send a text message. I'm gonna create a little tiny cell phone. Do you like the moment of silence? That looks more like a remote. I'm like drawing a like Nokia, like 19, 2000, whatever. Anyway, just go with it. That's totally not what it looks like. We're all in agreement on that, but okay. So you're wanting a text, you're wanting to think of you, all of this kind of stuff, right? Well, what you need to understand is that, hear me out. You don't want someone to think of you. You want to feel wanted, okay? Well, how does that, try it on for size. So the idea behind this is if they think of you, I'm going to put, it looks like they looks like they're an ant. They're thinking of you and you know, this it looks like you're dancing. Get it. Then because they're thinking of you, then you feel happy. Gives you a nice feeling. You feel wanted. You feel worthy. You feel desired. Okay. If they're thinking about you nonstop, right? What I'm going to encourage you to do, and also with the text, it can go both ways. Oh my God, I can't stop thinking about you. <gasps> oh God, now I feel good. Now I feel worthy. Okay, now I've, I have validated that I'm wantedable, <laughs> that I'm desirable, that I'm, you know, worthy. Oh yeah. What I want you to see is that if this doesn't happen, and when you're starting off, you're not starting off with feeling that because you wouldn't care about them thinking about you nonstop. Them thinking about you and being excited about you would be a reflection of your worth. If you're wanting to manifest them thinking about you or a text from them or communication or whatever in like your subconscious, it would be a lack of that, not feeling confident. So you need them to think about you. So then you feel good about you wanting them to communicate with you because if not, then you feel like they might leave or they're not as interested. Then you feel like you're worthy or that no one's gonna leave you or you're with. What you have to understand is that idea of needing it from them is really reflecting an absence of that at the whole origin. Because if you felt it on your own, if you felt that esteem, if you felt that worth about yourself, and there's no, um, there's no question of your worth, your worth, you are worthy. You are valuable. You are like, there's nothing about this is, is putting that down. What I want you to see is how to get the thing you actually want. If you're feeling lonely, if you're feeling like you want to connect with somebody that you have always had all this abandonment, you just want a loving relationship. I want you to look a, a step deeper because if you're wanting a text from this person, if you want uh, them to think about you all the time, 
essentially what that would mean is this person would be so clingy. They're just obsessed with you. That is not actually what you want. Them to be con completely in control of their whole life where they don't even get to go and enjoy their life because they're so obsessed with you. You're the only thing on their brain. And then if they do that, then you'll feel good about you. That means these people are dependent on each other for life. That might sound nice and I used to think it would sound nice that if I could find a way to create value in somebody's life that they couldn't leave me. That sounds more like a prison than a happy place to be, right? That if I'm like, oh, okay, I need you to need me so that I feel good about me and then we can be in this relationship. But if you leave or if something goes wrong with you, then I am going to like crumble. So I'm gonna need you to just be good with me like forever so that I, I'm good with me too. That's founda founded in self-abandonment and self-neglect. So what do you think I'm really going to see a reflection of? If I am find <laughs> finding, found, founding this entire thing, you know, with my experience and, and my, you know, constantly looking outside myself for validation so that I felt better, I had to get real with the fact that I didn't have a very high worth of me, that I thought I needed somebody else to fill my heart. Because I was self-rejecting is one of the reasons I felt so lonely. I felt that a relationship was the only thing that would bring me worth, that I could be an athlete, yeah, but without athletics, what was I gonna do? Okay, I need to be a hero, I need to be a helper. How could I bring a value to people through being a helper relationally? Well, I would find people who it would be so intense that yeah, I was creating a, a, a codependent dynamic. Uh, spoiler alert, it's terrible. It is actually terrible if somebody is obsessed with you and that obsession basically gets in the way of your life. You're not actually in a loving, secure relationship where if you're like, hey, um, Something came up with my friends that we're going to, you know, go on a road trip or something. If that's the case and this person's existence depends on you and you're like, oh God, well, uh, 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 what are you going to do? Are you going to talk to other people? Or, um, I don't know about this. I don't know about your friends. The, and suspicion, distrust, anxiety, and envy. What are we talking about? We're talking about jealousy. So if the foundation of the entire um, dynamic is founded in this person, you essentially, but I mean, it was me. You can put me in this if you want to, if that makes it easier. The foundation was that I didn't have love and that I wasn't whole and complete unless I had a relationship. So I was also, I don't know if you can see that down there. I was reflecting lack. So what did I find? I found people who I wanted to communicate more with me because I felt lack. I found people who were you know, more avoidant because I was betraying and avoiding myself really, my own needs. So if you're, you know, again, I watch this video not to be like clickbait kind of a thing, but I watch this video to give you this message because only when you start looking inward and realizing that whatever reason you feel this way, if you were neglected as a kid or abandoned as a kid, or if you have a lot of pain from a situation and you think that you weren't worthy or that you're not worthy, that's not true. And seeing the truth of the beauty of your soul and you as a unique human being saying, you know what, I do deserve love and I'm gonna start loving me. Then you will see the reflection of that from your outside world. Maybe it's romantic, maybe it's platonic, but eventually it will continue to just reiterate this, not because it started over here and filled this up, which is how I used to think it worked, whoops, but you see a reflection here because it lines up, it's on, on the same energetic level, if that makes sense. So if you're right now really wanting to manifest a text from somebody, really wanna manifest obsession, realize what you're wanting, the feeling you're wanting is to be wanted, is to have a place in someone's life, is to feel desired. Do you feel like you're undesirable? Do you feel like you're going to be abandoned, that someone needs to be obsessed with you, and if not, you don't know where you stand? Start to see what you're actually reflecting out into your life. What you're manifesting from is your subconscious beliefs. So if you're unconscious to why you're wanting this, it doesn't mean that manifestation isn't working. You're manifesting from the low sense of worth, the low sense of value, the low sense of perception of yourself. 
that perception can be shifted, but first you have to acknowledge where it currently is. And as you do that, you can say, oh shit, yeah, I actually, I'm badass, yeah. And then I'm gonna see somebody be like, hey, look, you're badass. It's a law of reflection, law of attraction, law of assumption. Those are all synonymous, right? You are going to get a reflection of who it is you think you are, who you are being, your thoughts and feelings, which are fueled by your subconscious mind. As you start to get clear that it has nothing to do with this person, it's not for or against, we're, we're, we're not concerned with that. We want to go deeper into you. As you do, then you so easily will see that reflected back. As you get clear on your view of yourself, that will automatically, that is a law of the universe. The more you leverage this and realize anything that you want to go out to validate you, you got to do it with yourself first and then you'll see that reflected. If you've made it this far, congratulations. I am proud of you and I really, really appreciate it. it. For those of you who aren't here for me to talk to, what can I do, right? I did my best. And this really shifting this way that I saw myself in relationships brought, was, brought me to the ability to have my first secure relationship where I see and I, got, I get to feel the love that I always longed for, but when I betrayed myself, it couldn't ever work. Even if that opportunity would have been in front of me, my perceptional bias would not have found it. So as I shifted this, that is what helped me to manifest a safe, loving relationship in my life. I really hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have, click that little like below. If you haven't done so already, click subscribe, join us. We'd love to have you. And if you've got uh, value from this video, I suggest you watch this one as well. I think it's gonna help you. I love y'all and I'll see you on the next one.